Okay, today we're going to make Lugo's iodine. And for anybody that's familiar with Lugo's iodine, Lugo's iodine is actually a solution uh, that was invented in 1829 by a physician by the name of Lugo. He was a French physician. Uh, and it was primarily used for a disinfectant and also for water purification. Uh, but iodine has many different uses, obviously. But what we're going to do today, and I'm going to show you all the ingredients that we have that you can make your own Lugo's iodine at home. First of all, this is Lugo's iodine solution 2%, and this is a 2 ounce bottle, and this will cost you about $24 to $30. So it's quite expensive. Uh, you can buy it in a 1 ounce bottle as well. Uh, but today what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, 3.5 ounces. Now this has already been pre-measured of uh, pure potassium crystals, and you can see this is the potassium crystals. You can purchase this stuff online, and I'll leave some links down below that you can actually find this. And this is pre-measured as well. This is 1.75 or 50 grams of iodine crystals. Okay, so this is really important. Uh, these, the combination of these two things and distilled water will make a 5.5 to 6% Lugo solution. Like I said earlier, this is a 2% and this is around $24 to $30 for 2 ounces. 5% can run you as much as $45 for 2 ounces. Uh, that being said, uh, it's really simple to make. I've got some notes here, so I'll refer to those. But what you're going to need is you're going to need some napkins or a towel. You're going to need a vessel. A glass jar is preferable. You don't want to use anything metal, and you don't want your end result iodine mixture to come in contact with anything metal because iodine has a corrosive nature to it, and it'll start to corrode the metal. So if you're going to use a typical mason jar with a wooden or a, a, a lid, a metal lid, then you'll need to put some wax paper or something between the metal and the glass top. This one I'm using has a rubber gasket, so we eliminate that problem altogether. This may not look like a quart, but this is actually a quart right here. So this is a, a jar from France. So what I start off with doing uh, in this mixture is um, just taking my potassium crystals and putting it in my jar that I'm going to mix it in. And take a little bit of distilled water. You make sure this you're only using distilled water. You don't have to use. Now this is not a perfect measurement. What I'm doing here is is just uh, pouring enough in it to dissolve it. Now I'm going to use a a wooden stick here. Again, uh, no metal object, so you don't want to use anything metal. You can use anything that is non-metal plastic or silicone. But I prefer wood, so maybe that's a good idea. So you get it all mixed up, and it dissolves pretty quick. This is a very water soluble uh, chemical. Anyway, we've got that. And the next thing I'm going to do is add my iodine crystals. And like I said, this is 1.75 ounces or 50 grams. And this was 100 grams. So we're basically a 2 to 1 ratio here. And I'm going to pour that in. You'll see the change in color dramatically. Real quick. Empty it all in there. And I'm going to add more water to the, to the limit, actually, which is going to be just below the rim of the jar here to make one quart. Just about there. That's good. Now I'm going to stir it up again. Now these crystals, these iodine crystals, will take a little bit more to dissolve. Uh, but I'm just giving it a good stir here, and after I put the lid on, it'll sh I'll shake it a little bit more, and maybe a couple times over the next hour or so. Uh, what you want to do with this, after you've completed this, is let it sit in a dark place for at least 24 hours for it to be fully activated. But the end result is you're going to have about 55 to 6% Lugo Solution Iodine. It's going to save you a lot of money, and health benefits are incredible with this. I'm just going to go through a short list here. If you uh, just go online and, and Google it, you'll find that uh, iodine is, is very important in our diet. Uh, controls metabolic rate, stimulates hormone activity, maintains energy levels, boosts um, the immune system, promotes healthy skin and organs, nails and teeth, helps eliminate toxins in your system, Cures enlarged thyroid glands and treats goiters. Maintains healthy reproductive system and treats hypothyroidism. And that really is an un un underactive thyroid gland. Um, take iodine in conjunction with healthy fats such as grass-fed butter, organic unrefined refined raw coconut oil, or other healthy fats. Mix, uh, mixing with a healthy fat will help it uh, obviously get introduce it into the body a lot quicker. But one of the great results of taking it with a fat is that it uh, actually reduces your mass body weight, your mass, your body mass, I should say. So it'll make you a little bit leaner and a lot uh, stronger. 
A lot of people use iodine when they feel the onset of a cold or the flu coming. It's a great disinfectant. I mean, there's just hundreds, if not thousands, of, of uses for iodine. It can be taken internally or externally. I will say, though, that if you're going to take it internally, you need to probably consult your physician. Uh, you, you probably want to be tested to see if you're deficient in iodine, and there's some pretty simple ways of doing that. Uh, if you go online, you can check. There's a lot of people that show you how to put a drop of iodine on your, iodine on your skin and, and uh, wait a couple hours to see if it disappears. If it disappears, your body absorbed it. If it didn't, if you still see the iodine stain, then that means your body isn't wanting any iodine, so your levels may be correct. But anyway, what you're going to get with this is 5 to 6% Lugo Solution Iodine. This is a great, healthy alternative. Now listen, this also is very important for people that are exposed to radiation. Uh, so that may apply to a lot of people on the, on the West Coast. Uh, we've got Fukush Fukushima that has been dumping lots of cesium into the ocean and the fish are showing up with it. So it's really important that we have enough iodine in our, in our diet. It's not really prevalent in the soil any longer because the you know, industrial farming and commercial farming has leached most of the important elements out of the soil. So even though the crops look good, the vegetables look good, that's done generally through artificial means, uh, usually petroleum-based chemical fertilizers, fertilizers and whatnot. But uh, you can add iodine back to your system by adding Lugo's solution. So take a look at the links below in this video because I'm going to show you some really important factors and some benefits to iodine and also where you can get the ingredients to make it yourself. And if you're not interested in making it yourself, if you don't think you need a quart of it, uh, I mean really two ounces will last you a year or more, uh, message me through this and, I'll, and I, I do make it so, and you just saw me make it so I can send you some at a very reasonable price. Anyway, that's how you make Lugo's Solution Iodine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We have a lot of different things on, on our, face, on our uh, YouTube channel. It's really important. You can also join our Facebook page and many other outlets that we share lots of information with gardening and health and other things. So thanks for watching the video. Make yourself some Lugo Solution Iodine. It's good for you and good for your family.